And now I present to you James P. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. I have to finish here. Okay. Responding to Trump often means becoming the victim of his backlash. Right. which some candidates craving media attention welcome. Trump fired back at Fiorina in a series of tweets Friday afternoon, including this message. Carly, whose campaign is dead, is making false statements about me in order to salvage hope. Sad. It's amazing how popular Twitter is because they don't let you put too much. They, 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 147 they, characters. That's, that's the right. limit, right? Yeah, that's the limit. And that includes spaces. That's correct. That's so stupid. All of which leaves the question, will Trump's latest round of controversial comments turn off potential supporters? Trump had been more controlled in recent weeks as he endured in the race, but he appeared to unravel a bit on stage a Thursday night at a community college in Fort Dodge, Iowa. At first, the audience, audience was quick to laugh at Trump's sharp insults. But the applause came less often and grew softer as the speech dragged on. The audience grew quiet, with a few shaking their heads after Trump's attack on Carson grew personal. Mm -hmm. A man sitting in the back of the auditorium loudly gasped. That was your gasp? Yeah. <laughs> the Iowa caucuses are often dominated <coughs> by evangelicals, many of whom have been captivated by Carson, who talks frequently about his faith. His faith? Yes, his faith. He has a faith. He was changed, but, don't you understand? But his faith doesn't tell him that you have to help uh, uh, unfortunate people? No, 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 no. But it, 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 it changed him from being a pathological criminal into the nice, valumized guy, valumized guy that he is today. There is no Republican nice guy. But as he's nicer, he's trying to say, he's nicer. Yeah. As part of his critique of Carson's autobiography, Trump said he doesn't believe that Carson was able to so quickly overcome his violent temper after finding God. He, found he also him. mocked and pantomimed Carson's claim that a youthful stabbing incident was stopped by a friend's belt buckle. And the people of Iowa believe him, Trump said. Give me a break. It didn't happen that way. Don't be fools. Well, teabaggers, um, people that vote Republican, are not the brightest bulbs on the Christmas tree. Yes, yeah, starting off. You yeah. Know, you know, so. <clears throat> Carson and Trump have long attracted some of the same types of voters. Karen Dixon, 71, a homemaker, who attended Carson's event in South Carolina on Friday, said she once supported Trump but that his performance this week had changed her opinion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can picture her talking right now, ranting, you know, like an old bag Republican. Yeah, 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 yeah. She would not rule out voting for him, but is more drawn to Carson now. What an idiot. That brought him down in a mighty, mighty way, she said. She should go back to being a homemaker and making her insane asylum to get up on the stage in front of so many people and have so no dignity for another human being much less a fellow Republican dignity amongst Republicans for him to do all that with his coat and belt that was totally unpresidential in my eyes. Well, in your eyes, you old bag, if you vote Republican, your opinion is worthless. Carson fan Dan, Don Pendleton, 64, said Trump, has a real chance to win <laughs> if he didn't have the language he has. 
Oh. His language turns me on. Don't call people stupid. Like, Especially the Iowa voter. Yeah, let Chris Christie do stuff like that. Not, not Donald. <laughs> At the Sunshine Summit in Orlando, Florida, tone and inclusion, especially on issues such as immigration reform, were a subtle subtext of the party gathering in a state with a booming Hispanic population. In the critical Central Florida corridor, between Tampa and Orlando. But Trump's 20-minute speech in Orlando, urging harsh immigration policies and other tough measures, was warmly received. Warmly, huh? The crowd cheered wildly when he said that the border wall he wants to build is going to be a real wall. It's going to be a Trump wall. I figures. And I'm sure his name will be on it. Oh, indeed. <laughs> and the Mexicans will pay for it. Sure they will. Okay. Just like in Atlantic City, all his uh, hotel casinos have his name everywhere. Yeah, The Trump Taj Mahal. Everywhere you look, you see Trump, Trump, Trumpy, Trumpy, Trump, Trumpy, Trump, Trumpy, Trump, Trumpy, Trump, Trumpy, Trump, 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 <laughs> so that's it. We're gonna take lunch. Taking lunch, baby. We're gonna take a break now, and uh, you'll be. Uh, uh, this is well. We're, we're doing. We have to do the show in segments. So this this is the end of the this video, um, whether it be part one or part two, and uh, you will, we will be joined. Uh, at the end of every video by our uh, okay. voiceover artist William Hamilton Morrow the third and then uh, we'll see you in the in the next video which is the continuation of this week's show the king of progressive internet talk radio has spoken and you could take that right to the bank you punks man you pencil neck geeks I'll put you in a camel clutch you you people that don't contribute to the groups. Keep on posting on your own page. You're not getting discovered. There's only one king, and you're looking at him, you'll, you pigeon-livered, pusillanimous pipsqueaks. Well, if they're posting on their own page and their profile pages, I don't think they want to be discovered. Mm, unless they have bigger agendas. No, they don't have a, a agenda. Well, like uh, I don't want to say they it. Don't on, want to get in. I don't want to say it on the air, but you know. Um, All right. You know there are egomaniacs that are stand far above the others, that uh, love self promotion. I know a couple. This has been a Mega Life Twenty One production. Hi, this is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com Hi, I'm William Morrow. Wake up, people, because the truth is often, very often, a very, very hard pill to swallow. Hey, listen, for the real hard-hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye-bye.